Yo, 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 what's good? Yo, what's good, YouTube? Y'all already know, man. It's your boy, Laurent Female Rapidly. I'm back with another video. Please come in and thumbs up this video. Hit the bell notification. Hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. Yo, I hope all of y'all doing well. It's Thursday. We about to go into Friday. I work from home tomorrow, so it's lit. You know what I'm saying? I hope all of y'all really doing well. So listen, from the tippy top, we're going to get into this Rhoda, the brick gate, brick lady on the run after failing to surrender to authority. So, you know, they, they, you know, she was supposed to surrender and um, turn herself in because she lied and she got all that money. You know what I'm saying? So brick lady on the run after failing to surrender to authorities. Warrant issued for felony by deception theft charge. That's crazy. She got over $40,000 and GoFundMe refunded all the people. I wonder how much of the money she got. Anyway, let's check this out. So first, let me read the article. Then we're going to play the video. The brick lady, Rhoda Osmond, has a change of heart and decided not to surrender to Houston police today. Per reporter Bryce Newberry was on the scene and explained Rhoda was supposed to turn herself in and enlisted the help of a local Black Panther Party chapter to do so. No one has been able to reach Rhoda and she has gone private on social media. Bryce also supports a, also reports a warrant has been issued for theft by deception charge. We'll update you as more information becomes available. So that's that. So let's check this article out real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Today, we got alerted earlier today um, that Miss Osmond, that Brick Lady, was planning to surrender and turn herself in because she's wanted for theft in Harris County. Uh, we were re uh, contacted by the new Black Panther Nation and Quanell X because uh, he was contacted by her for help and to arrange the surrender. So it was our understanding that that was supposed to happen at 345 today. You can see right now it's that time has passed and mm. as we arrived here at houston police headquarters today we got another alert that miss osmond brick lady is a no-show she decided to not surrender i spoke with candace matthews part of the new black panther uh, uh, nation and she told me that they had an agreed meeting location today they were supposed to be uh meeting with brick lady and then bringing her here for the surrender at houston police headquarters but the damn no -show. she didn't show up she didn't provide an extra so that brings us here to houston police headquarters today we got alerted earlier so listen, she was supposed to show up. She even enlisted some sort of Black Panther Party chapter to help her show up. So what else? And Candace Matthews tells us that this is really the first time that something like this has happened. Uh, people reach out to them often. You know, we are usually aware when they've been contacted and, and sometimes, you know, they, they do arrange for surrenders and then tell the media and provide comments uh, in person. So we were expecting exactly that to happen here at HPD today, but again, a little bit weird uh something changed we don't know what changed and so now uh brick lady remains on the run uh she appears to have gone private on instagram we have not been able to successfully reach her the gallon run out to town none of them can see me now what rihanna say because now i am a criminal 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 lord out of mercy now i'm in my criminal man down tell a judge please give me minimal run out to town none of them can see me now let's see what the last slide say Yep. So that was just an update on it in regards to that situation. Yo, I really want you to go over and check out Tanya TKO um, interview. She interviewed Tanya TKO's channel. She interviewed Olin Douglas. He's the male who was associated with. She say that did this uh, to her, hit her or whatever. Check it out. And you let me know what you thought about that interview as well. Go over and check out Tanya TKO. She just interviewed uh, um, Olin Douglas tonight. So yeah, check that out. Check that out. Check that out. So please make sure that you also support this channel. The cash app is on the screen. Dollar sign cookie confidant 83. Let's go. So the next thing I want to get into is Shekana. So she over here crying. Shekana breaks down in tears over being edited out of love and hip hop and believes that she's been blackballed because of previous drama with T.I. and Tani. Um, she said, you know, this is messed up. Them two face muff. So listen, she cursed a lot in this. Let's just, I'm going to try to beep it every time I feel like she's going to say the F word. Um, uh, and, and I hate it because sometimes. I've been on TV just as long as you have. Yeah. I've been on TV just as long as you have. Working for the network just as long as you have. Do y'all think, do y'all think that T.I. and Tani have the power to blackball Shakana in this industry? She is fucked up. But I'm I'm gonna tell you now, Jacana, whatever you need me to do, I will come down to that funeral. Yeah, that's we feel Damn, Mama, you curse too much. 
to help you. I know you had mentioned to me and about is, that. But, I don't I, I don't like that. I don't like fucked up. I've been thinking about all the shit they be doing, it's gonna be slick weird. Like what? Yeah. Listen, none of us can't say anything because if somebody was fucking with my bag, I'd be sad. And when man, I'd be sad if you messing with my bag. You know that feeling when your money is in jeopardy. Maybe everything ain't on everything on the on the hair side or whatever. But you know, this is also her visibility that you know she gets her little social media clout from. So yeah, I always thought when it come to me, me being edited out, me being shitted out to the side, man. Fuck that shit, man. Hmm. <laughs> I think they need to. Um, we don't need to do nothing with everybody. Money. I'm good. I, I think I, I said like give, I don't have no story I think they need to give everybody their fair shake. Man, I ain't got no story line. I ain't got nothing going on. I ain't fucking on them niggas. I'm cool, man. God, I, I, I hate. I, I wish I, they show the best. I'm straight on them though. Wow. I hate that, that you are hurt. I hate that you've been up because I can tell because you you have it. Your Yo, 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 spirit man is very heavy. I'm very heavy. Think about just crying, me man, and I can be still just sit to the law. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. I can't even be quiet about this shit, you know, because it ain't fair. No harm. We do shit. That's why I'm crazy, and I ain't gonna put my motherfucking platform in Phaser. I get the same. Ooh. What happened with Phaser? Because no fucking Phaser. Get your. I don't need no fucking Phaser shit for me. Who said that? All right, Shakana, she seemed a little proud. Listen, anytime somebody's money is in jeopardy, I will feel a I will feel a certain type of way if it was my money. Somebody said, you better bring that ass to Zeus. Sister, stop crying and go to Zeus. Yeah, Shakana, bring that ass to Zeus. So the next thing I wanted to bring up for you, I don't know if y'all seen this, but it said, wow, married Mississippi pastor's pregnant mistress confronts his wife at church. The congregation wanted him out. The police can't remove me. I'm the pastor. I'm the pastor. Listen, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Yo, as the year go, the years go on, I ain't trying to say that there ain't been no dramas in church when I was younger, but these are little, literally pulpit pimps. Check this out. Just look, you might not be able to understand everything, but try to look at the ruckus and the commotion. So she gets confronted. They confront him. Pastor Scott. So listen, let's read this. Pastor Ricky Scott. Senior pregnant mistress went to the church on Sunday to confront his wife. His wife didn't know the members were pissed and wanted him out. So check this out. In the sanctuary, we lift our hands in the sanctuary. They doing this in the sanctuary? What? Right. And they got their iPhones up like it's some sort of popular trend. What is going on with these people, yo? So never would have made it without you. I would have lost it all. Can you believe that that actually happened in the church house? Anyway, let's move on to something a little lighter. So Kalamazoo County uh, couple gives a hundred million dollars. You see these white people up here? Oh, baby. Never would have made it. Never would have made it without. She, they gave a hundred million dollars to Spellman, the largest gift to an SBCU ever. And this was so sweet of them. Look at William Johnston and Rhonda Stryker pose for a portrait um, at Greenleaf Trust in downtown Kalamazoo, Michigan, on Monday, October 21st. So that's the couple who gave the money away. So William Johnson and Rhonda Stryker, they're a couple, you know, they about money because they ain't even got the same last name. She's like, I got my own. You know what I'm saying? I got my own. Am I going to be able to read this whole article? Oh, shit. You know what? Give me a second. I hate when this shit happens. Just come on. They want every every site wants a dime out of everybody. So let me just let me go over here and share that. So I just wanted to at least bring that up so y'all could see the couple. Um, you know what I'm saying? So let's go over here. So love to see it. Atlanta Spelman College receives the largest donation in HBCU history. So as you can see, this was the couple who donated the hundred million and they probably took that and wrote it right off on their taxes. Taxes is getting access. 
is. All right. So, yeah. So um, Spelman College in Atlanta, uh, Georgia, make history after receiving the largest donation ever to a HBCU. According to 11A Live, the school re received the gracious generation on Thursday, January 18. According to the outlet, the Women's College was given a donation of $100 million. Additionally, the gesture reportedly makes the largest charitable gift ever to an HBCU. AKA historically black university, if you didn't know that. I hope you knew that. So the outlet reports that a married couple made a donation. Um, the wife is a businessman and philanthropist named Rhonda Syker and her husband, William Johnston. So let me see if I can actually find an article because I thought that that was really dope that they did that. And never would have made it without you. Oh, I would have lost it all. All right. So let's go over here real quick, baby. I want to read this article real quick. So Spellman announces 100 million. I'm better, much better. They better, baby. Listen, they better. So what the f see? This is what I'm saying. Like, yo, come on, stop playing with me. You knew what article I was just on. Like, stop playing these games. The fuck is wrong with this? Yo, you doing this right on my live when I'm recording? Like, stop playing. What's this? It better not show an ad first. I promise you show an ad. I'm going to click. Oh, no. you know what? I try to do I try to do something nice for y'all, for the people them. <laughs> try, try to do it for the people. So Spelman College announced that the $100 million, we've read that, donation was made by a businesswoman and philanthropist, Rhonda Stryker, and her husband, William Johnson Stryker. Is the Spelman, um, Stryker is a Spelman College trustee going back to 1997. Also, she does have a vested interest in the college. And according to the release, um, has worked for decades to empower women through higher education and advanced opportunities for a additional marginalized groups. That's so dope of her that she's doing that. You know, the shade room, they only gave you a fucking tidbit in the article. You see how much information they put over there? They ain't said they, they put a tidbit. That's what that, that's what you call a tidbit. You know, when you go to school and they say you having pineapple tidbits for lunch, that's a damn tidbit. So anyway, so she had a vested interest. So the school described the gift as making uh, the gift as specially marking 100 years since Spellman's official naming in 1924. The school was originally founded in Atlanta Baptist Female Seminary in 1881 and changed to Spellman Seminary in 1884. The name Spellman College um, came 40 years later. We are invigorated and inspired by the incredible act of generosity, Dr. Helene Gale, president of Spelman College, said in a statement. This gift is a critical step for our school's mission to eliminate financial barriers to starting and finishing a Spelman education. We can't thank um, Rhonda Stryker enough for her selflessness and support as both as a trustee and a friend. Why didn't thank the husband? Come on, the husband chipped in too. So there's no doubt that Spelman College is better because of her. Much better. Students were treated to a celebration on the upper level of the Manly Student Center. A photo booth, DJ, and T-shirts were on display to mark the occasion. Um, so the first thing that went through my mind was definitely financial support and scholarship, Zoe Shepard said. Shepard is a sophomore student on the campus and a student trustee. She said that that money will make an immediate impact and lay a foundation of support for students in the future. It's just an amazing feeling to know that that's going to be available for more people in the future. And even more amazing that I know that today their support, I know today that their support for them as well, Shepard added. So yeah, that's a hundred million, baby. Look at them. They had that hundred million. They had them snacks on display. So the school's um, release says 75 million of the donation will go to endowed scholarships for future students and the other 25 million will use to develop uh, an academic focus on public policy and, dem and democracy, improve student housing and provide flexible funding to meet critical strategic needs. So Love Letter, Love Lavetta Russell, an alumna of the college and chair of the Spelman College Board the trustee said that the students have been very vocal about housing needs and the donation will go a long way in addressing those concerns. That's so dope. A lot of the dorms are old and because of that air condition is an issue. So we have dorm. So we have two dorms specifically that we will start and that and that got the second largest applause today behind the fact that it, the, uh, about the hundred million dollar gift. All right. So that's what's up. Shout out to Spellman. Shout out to those people who donated that money. And, you know, I think that that was a generous act of kindness. Let's move right on to Cardi B. So Cardi B, um, you know that she was on that show Rhythm and Flow on Netflix and she was not qualified to be on that damn show. You know that Cardi B was not qualified. I remember back when she was announced to be on that damn show. I was like, what the hell is going on with um, Cardi being on 
hold on, with Cardi being on some damn uh, rhythm and flow, I just felt like it was it was misplaced. You understand what I'm saying? Like, why are you like what do you deserve to be on the show and you don't even write your own rhymes? Pretty much is how I'm pretty much feeling, right? So anyway, the news came out today that at Lotto is going to be taken over and she's going to be on this season's um rhythm and flow and pretty much going to be filling the boots of the, the shoes of cardi b now i personally feel like this is what happened right this is how i personally feel i feel that lotto is more qualified to do it being that you know i do think that she writes some of her stuff i don't I, despite the fact that um you know lotto was shady to Nicki minaj or whatever and you know i do support Nicki. i'm i don't hate lotto but i i'm not really a big fan of her either but i do feel like she has a more organic root and rap now even though we know when she was younger like that she probably was not writing all her rap so she probably has a history of getting some ghost written raps too but i feel like she has more of a history in rap than the damn cardi b so anyway they dropped the trailer today and they showed and i felt like um i felt like this was her kind of like dissing cardi in a way too so listen you check this out let me know she was like it feels right i feel like it personally feels better than the cardi b experience you let me know what you think i'm bringing the vibes i feel like i bring the authenticity baby this is my real life i'm a contestant turned judge so you know my she said she bring authenticity authenticity cardi b was not authentic she was not authentic and she, cardi you look better right here why you do all that shit to your face like Oh my God. See, you got to go back and look at the older pictures. Cardi, you know, she might have had a little bodega sips and uh, chips and sub, little bodega look, but I felt like she looked better before than contorting her face and taking that buccal fat out. I, I think that she 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 took that buccal out. You know, you, they make buccal money, I guess, and then they take the buccal fat out, whatever, right? Allegedly. So, Cardi B, you know, she passing shit on to Lotto. Now, Lotto thinks she lit now. And, you know, personally, me personally, I feel like Cardi B is the type of person to be like, you know, Lotto, you know, oh, I, I, you know, I told them to reach out to Lotto. Like, so she could be like, girl, I helped you out with this in the long run. Cardi B just, she strikes me as the type of person to be like, I did this for you. Like, so, you know, I did something for you. And Lotto just ate it. Oh, Cardi, thank you, girl. Yeah, you know, I want to do it. Cardi's a girl's girl. They fake as hell. Fake as hell. And last, 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 but not least, let me go over here, Normani. So Normani, she was at the Sundance. I think this was a, um, was a Sundance, was it a premiere or something like that? Anyway, so Normani was there and, you know, she's also involved in this film. And Normani on her next chapter and releasing music, she said it's literally the best music that I've ever made. So I want you to check this out real quick. Yes, I mean... The singles have changed. I will definitely say that. And you guys, you guys won't know what's coming. I'm so, so excited. Like we've been, I mean, artwork is fire. This year? Yeah, girl. I want this to come out just as bad as you guys do. I think that that's like such a misconception. I want this project to come out more than literally anybody. But it's literally the best music that I've made and I'm, I couldn't be more proud. And I know that once it comes out, you guys are gonna be like, okay, the wait was definitely worth it. Yes, oh, I mean, the singles have changed. I will definitely. So she's talking about new music. A lot of people, Normani's trending on Twitter right now. So people are waiting for Normani. You know what I'm saying? Are you excited for her return? You know, we know that she's been through a lot with her family. I think her mother was sick. And I believe, did they say her dad was sick? Don't quote me on that. But um, I know that she's been through a lot. I, even though I'm not the biggest Normani fan. You know what I'm saying? Um let me know what you think about it. Are you excited that Normani is returning? She seems pretty confident, but also, you know, when people are discussing new music, they have to sound confident and they have to sound like it's their best because, I mean, it's their most recent efforts, you know? So that's that. But anyway, y'all, let me know what you think about Normani and let me know, you know, as well, if you're excited for new music. Listen, this is your boy, Laurent, Female Rapper League. We made it to the end of the video. Please make sure that you thumbs up this video if you made it to this point. Uh, subscribe. You see the cash app is on the screen. Dollar sign, cookie, confidant, 83. Listen, be on the lookout because I do plan to start doing more um, on camera videos soon. So be on the lookout for that because, yeah, 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 we got to we got to start doing some something different, you know, look out for that. Also, just, yeah, subscribe and share the video. Thumbs up and all of that. Your boy, Laurent, Female Rapidly. I'm out.